Now, your KSBW weather forecast with Chief Meteorologist Lee Solomon. Good evening, everybody. Quick recap of the day. You're going to start to see temperature spreads now as we head towards summer. Not quite there yet, obviously, but 79 in Boulder Creek, Santa Cruz 71, just 59 in Aptos. That's not a, a lot of real estate in between. 58 Moss Landing, upper 60s Aroma, 70 San Juan Batista, middle to upper 70s in the Salinas and Santa Clara Valleys today. You can see that warming trend starting to take hold. 75 King City. 60s though here in Salinas, marine layer certainly is still a big influence and of course the sea breeze, 59, 58, Carmel, Pebble Beach and a 61 today in Monterey, Carmel Valley at 67. Low clouds were around, there were a few patches this morning around the bay and a few patches down the Salinas Valley. It wasn't a cohesive overcast and we probably won't see that again tomorrow. Pretty much same pattern. You notice the low clouds starting to come back in last couple of frames. So around the peninsula into Salinas already starting to uh, see some of those clouds, but most of us are still clear at this hour. Low clouds up and down the coast, clear in the Central Valley. A few rain and snow showers. Yeah, that same area of low pressure still kind of kicking some moisture back. Watch it this afternoon. See the cumulus clouds and they are yielding a little bit of precip over the Sierra. We'll take it in any form at this point. It's all good stuff. Warming trend underway. High pressure is starting to build in. The coldest of the air will move off to our east. You can see this gradual warming tomorrow into Sunday. That's when we peak. That's the big ridge right there. So we're definitely going to warm up. Most of the warming will be for the valleys and the hills. And then by Monday into Tuesday, we'll start to see some gradual cooling. Monday will still be warm, but by Tuesday, more cool air comes in. But it'll sort of be this gradual cool down for most. And then we'll talk about what happens after that here in a little bit. Microcast, again, low clouds around the bay, but not much at this point. But we'll see more of them overnight. Probably some patchy fog mixed in with that. Tomorrow morning, overcast the coast, partly cloudy inland. And then we get a pretty good clearing tomorrow afternoon, although the low clouds will be close. They should burn off most of the beaches. Winds are out of the northwest. Watch this closely, though. After that, Saturday night into Sunday, look at this. The low clouds get blown out Sunday morning. Offshore flow takes over. If we get a little bit of that, the coast will have a really solid chance at warming up a lot more on Sunday. Eventually, we will see a sea breeze. So we're only talking about six to nine hours, maybe eight hours of maybe an offshore breeze. That's a tricky forecast. That means the difference between possibly 70s or middle 80s at some of the coastal areas. So we're going to watch that close. Either way, it's going to be nice. We're just kind of splitting hairs between where you'll actually end up on Sunday. 40 to 47 overnight, valley clouds late. And then tomorrow, it's morning overcast, mild sunshine, ocean breeze. Lots of 60s, some low to mid 70s, though, by the bay. 70s to 80s for the inland valleys, mild to warm. And here are your high temperatures. Again, this is for tomorrow. It will be warmer, though, on Sunday. 71 San Francisco, Oakland 76, San Jose 77. Looking at the Santa Cruz Mountains, we'll start putting some 80s in there, but it's low 80s. 76 Santa Cruz, 72 Capitola, of course, right at the beach are going to be cooler. 70 Watsonville, 75 Coralitas, low 80s Gilroy, upper 70s Morgan Hills, 78 Hollister, 81 San Juan Batista. Not too warm for you. Head over to Moss Landing there at 64. Upper 60s here in Salinas, then the middle 70s to near 80 down towards King City, and of course, a little warmer south of there. By the Bay, 62 to 65 should cover it. PG, Monterey, Seaside at 61. 70s, though, coming back for Carmel Valley. And again, this is the start of this warming trend, which will peak on Sunday. So there's your Sunday temps. I'm going to go with a lot of 70s at the coast. Some spots could get close to 80, like Santa Cruz on Sunday. Then Monday, the coast cools off back to 60s to middle 70s. Valleys and hills still seeing plenty of 80s. Tuesday and Wednesday are cooler, and then we kind of stabilize. Maybe even a bump back up in temps Thursday, Friday. Could be a few clouds around. Pattern starts to shift. 40s for your overnight lows with some 50s in there. So our overnight lows are warming up. And it looks like a really nice weekend. That long-range plan for rain, I've been looking at that. It looks like an active period for about 10 days. The only problem is... Like it's been most of the winter, it looks like a lot of it could be just to our north. Mm. But there's still a shot at it. At least there's areas of low pressure forming in the models and some rain in the Pacific Northwest down in Northern California. We'll see if we can get it a little closer. Maybe get some action up in the Sierra out of it? Could be. Yeah, could yeah. be a little bit of snow. We'll see. Right. Uh, we'll take